serving all your balls in the net. Your serve always goes in the net, especially under pressure and you're not sure what to do. I'm going to help you today, guys, to help you stay away from the net on the serve. Stay tuned. Okay, champions, we all know it's very horrible to serve that ball in the net. You know, you're trying to get the ball over the net, especially under pressure, you're serving that ball in the net, first serve, second serve, and it just feels like a waste. I'm gonna give you three things today that you can focus on next time. When you see the ball start going in the net, focus on these three tips and I can guarantee you that ball's gonna start going over the net into the block, okay? The very first mistake that, that you're probably making is you don't realize it, but you are pulling, when you're serving, you're pulling down your left arm too hard too soon. Understand that the left arm needs to come down, but not too soon, not too hard. And when it comes down, it comes into the belly and that's where it stays, okay? But you gotta feel it going up, stretching. What a lot of players do though is they think it's coming up, but it's only here. Okay, it needs to actually stretch all the way up and then through. So let me show you two. This is what happens if you pull your left arm down too soon. Camera a little bit to the right. Everything seems fine, but I'm just pulling it down. That ball will go down. Down, too soon, will go down. So understand that when your left arm goes down, it pulls your head down. And then if your head goes down, the racket head goes down. And finally the ball goes down. That's why it's going in the net. What you want to do is, you want to feel it stretching up stretch first and then serve and keep it up for long enough just before contact you can start releasing a little bit stretch over the net stretch over the net that's the first step guys stretch it this is not enough stretch up that arm that's also going to help you into the next step and the next step is you're not putting enough weight on your back leg okay that's the second mistake you're making players wonder why the ball's going into the net but so much weight is on the front leg. If so much weight is on my front leg, look what happens. I hit down, you have to fall down. So as the left arm goes up, notice, I go into trophy position. Trophy position puts weight on my back leg. You can just see this position here, the ball wants to go up, okay? So let me show you what happens if I don't put enough weight on my, on my back leg. All the weight is there, ball wants to go down. You see it looks okay, but I'm not using my back leg at all, okay? Let me show you two or three serves where left arm stretching up and it's going into my back leg, then I'm jumping up. Back leg, okay, I missed that one. Back leg, serving up. The ball wants to go up if you're in that position. There. The ball wants to go up if you're in that position. Okay guys, then the last little secret, last little tip I'm gonna give you, um, so basic and easy to understand, but when you serve, um, after the serve, feel like you're floating. Feel like you're floating in the air. Have you ever seen Federer serve most of the good servers? When, when they're done serving, it's almost like they're still looking up. It's like they wanna float in the air. So don't serve and feel like I'm serving and the serve is done, okay? Serve and keep floating up. I'm looking up, I'm floating in the air and then release, okay? So I'm not gonna show you the negative one on this one, but notice when I serve, I'm staying up. It's like I wanna try and float afterwards. There, float in the air, okay? Look at my head staying up. There, float. Keep the head up and i'm floating in the air guys again the simplest tips in tennis make the biggest difference go and go out today or the next time you play do those three tips on your serve and notice how you're going to start <coughs> cutting out the net when you're serving i'll see you guys for my next video